Honestly, these stories are getting old and nothing's going to change. But welcome to SoFlo TV anyways, people. We were supposed to go live. And one of the things that we wanted to, to discuss is what you will see in this picture that's about to show up next. So this headline yesterday says, Cops seized 20 guns during operation at the Kingston Wharves. The Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Invent Investigation Branch, or CTOC, has confirmed the seizure of 20 firearms. I want you to look at the kind of weapons because this is an actual picture of the weapons that were coming in. So look at the kind of weapons and then we'll have a discussion about this. Yeah, beautiful Jamaica land we love. So they, they seized 20 firearms, around 700 rounds of ammunition at a terminal in Kingston on Tuesday, February 26th. The seizure was made about 10 a.m. during a joint operation with the Contraband Enforcement Team of Jamaica Customs, the police high command said in release. A cache of weapons including four high-powered rifles, one submachine gun, nine pistols, six revolvers, and 791 assorted rounds of ammunition. Hmm. The seizures come only five months after 36 illegal weapons and 640 rounds of ammunition, multiple magazines, and a silencer were confiscated at these wharves during a two-day operation. So, hmm, we know it's coming in through the wharves, right? Now, we've had these discussions before, and this is nothing new. Check it. Look at this picture right here, because remember this? This was a load that was destined for Jamaica that was actually intercepted by US authorities and they tracked it and tracked it and tracked it and still did not no one went down for it but look at the amount of guns that was coming in in one shipment this is one shipment this is to tell you now this video isn't to scare anybody off it's to make us think like who's responsible for all this here's another picture and you can see the JCF seal in the picture this is another shipment of guns look at the type of weapons that people have in the streets and they're not law enforcement officers and these guns are not licensed and a lot of them as soon as they get them the serial numbers are scratched off of them I'm willing to bet that's the reason why a lot of them are not traceable even when they are found all I'm gonna say is this something seems very fishy i've said this before and i'm going to say it again it is up to the jamaican people to decide if they want to be a part of the destruction and the gentrification of the beautiful island of jamaica and if they do want to be a part of the destruction and the gentrification yes i said the gentrification and the destruction then continue to participate in these activities this is carefully orchestrated, okay? And a lot of people are saying, so Flo, it's our own people that are purchasing these and sending them in. Look at this picture again. This is the kind of weapons that are coming in. Gang warfare, maybe? Powerful uh, drug lords from overseas that are financing these. You know, like Jamaican guys that went overseas, made it big in drug dealing and whatever else illicit activities maybe even legal businesses and they owe an allegiance to a certain sector a certain group and they're financing these and making sure they're coming in but I always say this it has to be bigger than them okay because a pin cannot go through US customs or leave the US and enter into Jamaica without someone of a higher authority knowing about it so we have to stop being naive what I don't like is how these guns a lot of the times end up in the hands of impoverished young men. You understand? And they become the ones that bear the brunt of it all. The blame. They're the demons. They're the animals. They're the criminals. They're the ones that die from it. They're the ones that get locked up and do prison time from it and all that. While whoever is responsible for these sits pretty in a position of wherever they're at. So I think that's something that we should look at. Now, I'm just tired of hearing, oh, we had a big seizure of guns and they show you these pictures and then no one was arrested. Or four people were arrested, but they were released or something like that. 
So if we're going to get to the bottom of this, we're going to have to start getting to the people who are making these things come into the island. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this one. I just think it's crazy as heck. Look at the type of weapons, man. I'm out. Peace.